Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. Okay, I thought we would do a couple of other little quick easy items with the pieces from the Spring Sings kit. Um, I know my last video was a little short, but anyway, I squished two projects in there. <laughs> oh, that's because I got all my stuff together. I know I'm trying to push my sleeves up. Okay, so this is one of the envelopes in the um, Spring Sings kit. And I was just, you know, showing you how to, you know, take your um, bone folder or scoring stylus or whatever and just kind of go around your edges. I usually do it twice just to get a good enough crease on there so you can fold it nice and um, neat. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold it just so you can kind of see that it doesn't take a lot and you can just you know use your ruler or whatever <coughs> you have so now I'm going to use I think well I sure wish I knew what the third stamp was that went in here because it's not in here I know it had three oh, and this is not even there you go I'm like this gonna fight me so, and I did not put it on a block, but I think I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to pay attention to which way it goes for one thing, and hello, Lord, and then I thought I would um, use some Victorian velvet to add a little bit of pink to it, even though it's not bright pink, it's more of a dusty rose. I know i got all this junk over here, but I'm going to use it in a minute, so, oh, all right, so let's just go ahead and ink around. Oh my gosh, it's going to be one of those videos, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I just don't know if I'm going to get over all this stuff. And then we just we just got more coming. Oh, I don't, I'm trying not to talk about it, but it is affecting my sleep and everything else, and I do not like that. I need at least six hours a day of sleep to function properly. And this two, three, if I'm lucky, four is just not working. Okay. I think John might be home. I don't even know what time it is because my, my phone's up there. No, I don't have a clock down here. I need a clock and a calendar. <laughs> I've got a timer. I don't have my watch on, so I don't know what time it is. Oh, I guess I need to start wearing my stinking watch again. It just aggravates me sometimes because you know, click, 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 click. Okay, and then since we're going to be seeing this side, I know I'm getting a little, a little crazy with it, but we're going to kind of cover it up anyway. And it's just an envelope pocket, but I do want to go ahead and gently do that. All right, now, now that I've paid attention to which direction the stamp needs to be let's see if we can get this stamped oops I didn't even tell y'all hope you're having a good day because <laughs> I'm a rude YouTube creator channel person whatever that is sorry y'all I know I'm bad uh-oh, I'm stuck to my stinking glass mat. That's what happens when you don't put it on a, a big old acrylic block. Oh. All right. Let's smush it down just so we can have some background. Let's see what it looks like. All right, I'm liking it. And then when we fold it up, we still have that. So we need to do it some more. Oh. Let's see if we have enough ink on here and do it again. I know I might regret this. Oh my gosh, but I'm going for it anyway. Let me move up a little, a little more. Yeah, I'm going to regret it. Oh, well, it's just going to be faint. And then we're going to come over here and hit some side. Hit that side. See? I didn't even do a very good job there either. So, 
and you really can't tell so I did all right <laughs> I know it's horrible oh okay I don't know why I'm gonna bother stamping off and my dogs hate that because this vibrates all the stuff on my little crafting table and they run okay so I didn't even hardly need that let me just I know I'm gonna waste your time where's my thingy I'm gonna go ahead and clean it real quick um, I do use these y'all just probably don't see me <laughs> do it but this is um, recollections um, stamp cleaner thing and then the the ranger this stuff smells like bubble gum I know y'all know I got this thing about smelling and then I know you're supposed to replace these things but when it gets really dirty I just run underneath water and let it run off and wipe it off and reuse it I've had this same one oh four years I know hey I'm cleaning them what can you say and I have one that's for clean and one that I say for dry <laughs> oh <coughs> but yeah I just take them and run them underneath you know warm water sometimes a little soap and then you know pat them dry with one of my craft towels and then um you know usually it takes you know overnight for it to dry off but you know i mean the majority of the ink comes off with the water so it works for me all right there's that one Clean as I almost whistle. All right, let's put our stamps back in the envelope. I mean, our, our plastic bag, which apparently I had a, a rough time opening it because this bag is all tore up. And I'm missing a stamp. Oh, I've got to find my, because, you know, I don't like my stamps not to be together. So, I got to find his friend. I'm sure it's in one of these stinking project bins that I've got stacked to the ceiling right here. Oh, I know. Dear Lord. See? That's probably why I didn't put the other thing back in here because this daggum bag is all tore to smithereens and back. And I'm about just to get <laughs> PO'd again. And I'm sure that's why number three isn't in there. Oh. Doggone it. Anyway. Okay. I'm done with that one. So let's just go ahead and make our little envelope now that I had to fight it. That was, you know, my supposed to be my little simple, <laughs> simple project. Okay, and do, do we go all over here? Oh, my lunch. Y'all, my lunch just wore off. Well, actually, it was brunch. You know, didn't feel like eating this morning. So I had a tuna fish sandwich with some chips. So that was like my brunch. Oh, and yep, here, let me, let me swig some water. I got a little bit down here. Maybe that'll help. Okay. So there's our little envelope. And I think I'm going to, oh, I should have, but I did not bring one. I know, imagine that. I wonder if these will fit in here. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so let me get... Hold on, y'all. I know. Totally unprepared. Uh-oh. And I've done moved them on myself. Yes, you heard me. I said done. I've done it. Well, poop. Well, I'll have... I need a teardrop paper clip. So let me write a sticky note on a piece of paper that says teardrop paper clip. Oh, here's a scrap right here. Need tear drop paper clip because it's gonna go on a pocket. Lord, I done lost all my other paper clips, and here's my there's one. Oh dear goodness, you know, I'm telling you, it does not pay to, to be me lately. All right, um, let me where was this even going? I don't even know. We're just going to clip it in here because <laughs> I'm just not with the program. Well, that's kind of cute. But then I won't see near, need teardrop. But 
I sure were flipping it around so I could see I need a teardrop. And that way it gives, you know, the top a little more poof up top. All right, now, <laughs> let me see. <coughs> let me cough a little bit. Um, hmm. I think I answered the wrong question to you. I'm going to have to go back and look at that video, Teresa, at um, X Cajun Grandma, because I think I wrote the wrong thing. Because, see, I'm not even paying attention either. And I've lost where this goes. Hold on. Dear goodness gracious, there he is. Okay, let me put him where, it, where it's at so I know that spread we're going to do next. Okay, now. So, after we went the long way around Chinatown and back... We're going to work on this. So you need an index card. <coughs> this is um, a tag from the kit. And when I printed these, I put them on <coughs> crap monkeys. 45-pound um, paper. And then, um, so we're going to do an overlay pocket type thing, even though we're not really overlaying because I'm cheating. I'm only using this whole thing. Now, I did have to trim this down just a hair to... Um, the three by five so it would fit on here and let me measure because I forgot my little prototype oh two and a quarter okay so I cut two and a quarter from here so this is what we got so this is two and a quarter and then whatever's left up top so and then I just took, I mean, real quick, easy, cute, and simple. Just inked around here and then inked around up top. And then I'm gluing um, this down on three sides because we're going to use this as our little tuck pocket. I know I'm cheating, but... It works just fine. It's just a little tag. Whoops, got a little heavy on the glue there. So, you know. Try not to talk while you glue because it doesn't work well. <coughs> All right. And so then we're just going to smush around. And this is actually going to be a pocket in a minute. But we're going to take... I'm just going to squish my all my edges down good. We're going to take and glue our top to it as a regular tag. <coughs> now you could... <coughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? See, I did not cough one bit until I came down here. There is... Me in this basement doesn't get along. <laughs> Okay, so you just want to, you know, line your all your little stuff back up so it's, you know, your regular tag. And then we're going to squish it down, and that way you can journal on the back. I know the lines are this way, but, I mean, come on. You can always find something that you, you know, that goes the other way. I, I really was going to use my blue graph cards, but... They're buried underneath some washi tape baskets. So I was just being lazy. That's why I have this. So, you know, feel free to use something that goes the right direction. Now, see, this is hanging off a little bit. So I need to trim my... And it feels like my index card isn't, you know, quite straight. All right, and then let's cut our tag sides. And I can tell you right now, those don't look straight either. You know I got a little problem with that. So, anyway, I just cut it a little more. So, <coughs> now let's just ink around. This black right here is going to bother me. So, I need to trim that off. I'm just, just going to be honest. And then we'll ink around the back. 
lightly ink around the back. Okay, and then, I know, this is something else. Um, bum, 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 bum. We have a piece of um, fabric. Actually, this is like a vintage part of a sheet that I got at, um, oh, up in, where was I? In Kentucky, when Fergie had her surgery, this is some, and most of it had holes in it, like, like an animal or, you know, I don't know, whatever, moths or something ate all in there, but there was a, a you know, a decent size, but I just loved it, so I got it. I mean, I paid like, I think $5 for it, but it called my name. What can I say? All right, so we have that. <coughs> And then we're going to take, um, I'm using this iridescent kind of like mauve color fastener just because I have them. If not, you can use, um, like remember when we made our, our bright pink ones with our, our waxes or, you know, you can use your marker or, or just your plain one because I'm going to use a plain, um, Vintage photo. I know. Hello. I'm waiting. I was waiting for it to come. I could, I could see it rolling around in my head. But, yep. And then we'll just put that on the back. Oh. And then, what I have. This is a piece of some scrap <coughs> that I have. It looks like you know wood grain. So I'm going to use this. And we need to go ahead and ink around it. We're going to do something else to it, but I'm just putting this down here now so I don't forget. I know. Okay. And see, see my thing doesn't, it doesn't do even punches. I mean, it's just a hair, but my, my crazy eyeballs notice it. All right, and then I have um, this page from All Things Pink from the Junk Journal Studio, and um, I'm going to use this and this one. And like I said, I printed it on 45-pound paper, so, and no, I did not cut it out beforehand. Sorry, going to make y'all make y'all watch me this one. See, this takes up some time in the video. <laughs> oh, you know, when you get everything all ready, then it doesn't take as much time and then you end up doing too many things in there but I'm gonna do some stuff without you so I know nah. I better be quiet I'm gonna mess up if I don't if I, if I start being mean and then I'm just gonna round the corners with my quarter inch rounder <clears throat> and then we're going to use this cream color one and you know why cut it twice these are my little scissors they're just they say pinking, but they're not quite as, I don't know if you can see, they're not quite as deep as a regular pinking, but they came in that little set of scissors I got. So I'm just going to go right above the, um, oh, crap monkeys, I went into my other thing. Well, we'll have to repair that later. And then, I know, wah, my hands are free, I'd whine for you. Here you go. And then let me just cut on this side just to give us some little little texture up top. Let me put those up because they're in my way. And then just a little bit on the side. I mean, there's a lot more yellow, like an eighth of an inch on each side that you can leave, but I didn't want mine that deep. And then I'm going to take my um, regular size hole punch and just kind of punch the same distance that I had around the ticket and then since you know they have these little sharp edges I just take my little scissors and just y'all see me do this all the time just barely take the, the ends of them just because I don't like pokey things I know but I am leaving that square and pokey I'm resisting I'm resisting arrest <laughs> yes I have done that before when I worked for the police department. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Anyway, if you'd like to know the, the whole story, let me know. 
I'll tell you. Oh my God. Anyway, it did happen on Mardi Gras. Any of y'all know about Mardi Gras? Anyway, <laughs> I don't think I've drinking white Russian since. So there you go. All right. So now <coughs> this is our, our basic little um, tag. Oh, I'm like, where's my thing? It's, you know, such pretty paper, paper, whatever this is, fabric. So we're going to put it in here. I'm going to put my lid on here so that doesn't dry out. And then I just twisted it around. So my, you'll have, you know, both designs on there. Since, you know, it's got a different, different look on the back of the fabric. And then I just always like to put a little bit of glue on there to help hold it in place. And then take my staple. I know I put from my birthday list. I told John I want that stupid Tim Holtz tiny attacher stapler and some staples. So... I really want another desk chair, but, you know, I've asked, I asked for that for Christmas and I didn't get it. So, I'm not going to ask for it anymore. I'm just, my chair goes down all the time when I sit over there. So, I'm just, I just deal with it. <laughs> and I just take my pliers and I just pinch the, you know, the back of the staple so they're flat. So, it's that's just the easiest thing i found. And then, we're just going to, um, we're going to put this in here. Oops, this away. This goes in front, but we still got to do something. We're going to put this in the back here, but we're going to do something to it. And then while we're doing something to it, let's, um, I'm going to take my little shimmer pen. And I'm going to go around my bird. Now, if some of y'all don't have this shimmer pen, because I really don't know how much they are. This came in one of my Hero Arts kit that I used to get when I was card making. And, um... But, you know, you just, like everything, you just don't get good stuff like you used to. So, I really did stop a few subscriptions because you just didn't, I just didn't feel they were worth the amount. Um, but you can get, like, these jelly pens. Um, jelly Roll, you can get them Hobby Lobby or online at Amazon. You can just color that in. But I'm sure you could get some kind of, I know, my hand's all in the stinking way. Um, I'm sure between, somebody's got to sell this, I don't know who, I mean, because this one, like I said, is Nouveau, I'm sure you can get this with the, with the Nouveau drops, it's just called, um, Aqua Shimmer, it's a, um, glitter gloss, actually, it's, um, number 882, so, but it's just, um, Aqua Shimmer by Nouveau, and then this one is, mm, uh, Spectrum Noir Sparkle. Like I said, I got this in a kit that I had too. I really do like the Nouveau better, but anyway. So, can you kind of see the little shimmer birdie? Woohoo! Shimmer birdie. Okay. So now we're going to get some. Do I have some back here? Yes, I do. Some light green painter tape. And people ask, where do you get this from? Well, I got it at the same place I got this from. Hold on. I know my paper rolls. It's on the floor, and I gotta got get some dog hair off of it. Okay, so this is what I used to get at. I think it's Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't remember which one. We get them at both places. One has them sometime. One doesn't. But last year, when we were out and about, I walked by and I was like, "Well, gosh." That sure looks different than the one I have because I remember mine was darker. It's the same manufacturer, same everything. They just made the made it a different. It's lighter shade now, so that's where that comes from. So if you're wanting some light green um, painters paper, check out Lowe's or Home Depot. But I believe it's Lowe's. And let me tell you how long this is, because it is 12 inches. Because they have you know different lengths. They got nine inches, 12 inches. But the green seems to come in the 12 inches. Okay, so that's where I got that from. Because every time I use it, someone asks. And then, I, I actually, I think Amazon sells it. Um, I think I've seen it on Amazon, too. Just type in 12-inch 
painter's paper roll or something. All right, so then I found this little tulip stamp. And let's see, I guess we're going to use our Versafine, our black. Just because we have so much black. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Because we have a lot of other black things going on in there. And then I wanna, I'm going to get more than one on here for some other ones I'm doing. So let me just stamp it. And I don't know where this stamp came from. I know I'm useless, y'all. What can I say? And just hold it on there for a minute so it, it stamps well. And then, you know, with Versafine, you got to wait a minute because <laughs> it's wet. It does take a little longer than regular ink to dry because if you go in there and, and do this, you'd smudge it right now. So, yep. Let's just, uh, it rained all day. Yep. You know how you get it to pour down rain all day? You get John to grade your, your uh, driveway on Saturday. So that way it rains. Yep. So if anybody needs some rain, let us know. I'll send John your way. <laughs> he'll, he'll grade part of your of a driveway and boy, it'll rain all day for you. All right, I don't want this to be perfectly square. I kind of want it to follow. Well, I think I do. I don't know. I have to look. I might not like it after I, I do it because, you know, I didn't. my first one I didn't do this way. But, yeah, I think I kind of like that. So let's just do a little inky around it. Yeah, so someone um, wrote in the comments that the barely... The barely, barely something glue, barely art glue, doesn't show um, on vellum and stuff either. But I also have heard a lot of people say that you can't get refills, doggone it, you can't get refills for your barely glue. And that's the only thing that they don't like is that, you know, you got to buy, you know, the bottle over and over. And now you're stuck with all these little bottles of glue so is that true or have they wised up to the craft world and decided to let everybody buy some refills because I have noticed the stuff keeps going up higher and higher on Amazon and let me tell you, you keep getting higher I'll be doing some alternative glue And just in case, let me squish it down on the back. Oh, it's dry. All right. So then this is going to go in here like that. And I guess we could put, let's put some little twine on there because... I think it's going to bother me. I can't do anything simple, you know. Gosh. Always got to have an extra step. Two, three, four, five. All right. Hold on. I got to go to my, my twine, my twine drawer. grab enough to do a few. Oh, that's right. I pull these apart. <sighs> Everybody say, dumb man. All right. So this has three pieces on there. And since it's so thick on these little things, I usually pull them apart. So I might have enough that I cut off for my other things. And then, you know, I don't like, I get tired of fighting, so I just use my tweezers and pull it through. And then, you know, I like to put a little bit of glue on there just to hold it in place. 
And is this, yep. I need a little glue because I could feel it was catching. I mean, just a tad. I know, I know. I'm, I over glue things, but I don't like stuff to catch. All right. So there's that little hidden over just an overlay pocket because I mean you we're really not overlaying because we're cheating we're but see you don't it doesn't bend or anything so I don't know I'm still gonna call it an overlay because I used one piece of thing cut it in half and you know made something overlaying with it now I need I need some sequins up here really bad because it's bothering me <laughs> all right so let me see. We'll use a regular one. I know I'm going to have to go on Amazon and order some some of these iridescent ones in these sizes in the 6 millimeter and 8 millimeter, I believe, cuz I got these. Um all mixed together from Tuesday morning and I'm telling you I've had them forever but I use the mess out of them as y'all know. Oh, I didn't even write this even before I started writing on there. Which you can't never find anything like this at Tuesday morning anymore. Can't find nothing crafty. We, I know. Y'all know it. Y'all have been there. And you've been totally disappointed, haven't you? Go ahead. Be honest. You know, I was kind of liking it with the... With the big one up here and the little one right there. Oops. Oh, get back here. Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're just going to chase each other around now. And I don't want to cover that green because I need some green. I know I'm changing my mind. means I need I need one down here I know this yellow might be too bright I mean I might need to just put a plain oh no it's not oh here I am talking about bright and we're using a bright a bright kit we're gonna put a yellow one right there all right now we close that up before you know it goes everywhere again Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> we just folded our little man, me, and that's three half an inch punch. That's on my next project. But, oh, I'm bad. Five eighths. Put all my junk back in there before I lose them. Okay, so we made this quick and easy, simple little um, envelope. That I need to find the my teardrop paper clips because I I moved them when I when I organized over there, but good God, I don't know where I put them. So I'll find them, and then you know we just stamped on the inside just to give it some extra some extra oomph. And then we're gonna put a few things in here once we you know get some more of our ephemera and stuff cut and everything else made. So. That's going, I don't know, we still probably move that around. And then this is another tag that we made um, using the tag from the kit. And we just um, kind of used my little overlay process to it, even though we didn't really make an overlay. But you know what I mean. And we put our shimmer on there. But So there you go. There's um, two quick, easy, cute, simple little things that we're doing that we put in here and then like I said when we get to some other things we'll um, put some more stuff inside there alright guys let me make sure it's not gonna move alright so thanks for watching thanks for sharing some of your time with me thanks for sharing some of your day with me actually I think I used to say it the other way around um, but <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this I hope you know this gives you another little idea how to use one of your tags just you know like we do our overlays our hidden pockets just you know cut it 
and put it on a, you know, back of an index card or even some star, um, card stock or whatever you have. And then just, you know, put some little ephemera pieces in there from your kits and stuff. And that'll be a cute little tag that you can tuck in and write on, you know, on the back of all your little ephemera pieces. And then you still have your journal card on the back. All right, guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for all your love. Thanks for all your support. Here's some kisses and here's some hugs. And I will see y'all later. Bye, guys.